Hi, my name's Steve Statler, and my focus on Bluetooth technology started when I worked at Qualcomm, heading up the solutions group within Qualcomm Retail Solutions, which is the division that incubated and then carved out Gimbal, which is one of the largest manufacturers of Bluetooth smart beacon technology and contextual middleware. And after that, I started a consulting company, and I've been advising uh, airports on their deployment of Bluetooth beacon technology, VCs, institutional investors, and a range of startups, including PassJoy, um, Rover Labs, Unicast, and ConnectQuest. All of that has resulted in a one-day training course that I developed and delivered in partnership with Mobile Monday Silicon Valley University. Uh, and that in turn has resulted in New Location Essentials, which is a book on the impact of Bluetooth beacon technology on the Internet of Things and digital physical convergence. Bluetooth has played a really pivotal role in the development of the Internet of Things and digital physical convergence. It's quite astonishing what happened with the advent of Bluetooth Smart. Suddenly, there was a new option available uh, which had incredibly low power uh, and incredibly low cost and allowed beacons to uh, take the place of what was otherwise kind of expensive and flexible uh, wireless infrastructure, Wi-Fi uh, as an example. It wasn't doing a particularly good job of locating where people were. And this ubiquitous, low-cost technology has inspired over a hundred startups to suddenly come into, an ex into existence, capitalizing on building beacons and the software and services that uh, surround them. And uh, uh, it's sometimes difficult to get your head around exactly what's happening, but uh, a metaphor that I like to use that describes the role of Bluetooth smart beacons is they're like the sinews that are connecting the muscle and the bone of the Internet of Things. And the muscle is all of the digital technology, the software, and the bone is the physical bricks and mortar infrastructure. And in the past, those two things weren't linked, uh, but what we're seeing now uh, is dramatic transformations in the way, for instance, retail is done. So everything that Amazon used to be able to do in the e-commerce world is now becoming available to bricks and mortar retailers. So all of the analytics, all of the personalization that before this existed just on websites can now be applied to a shopper's journey around a store. So rather than the measuring the, the click-throughs, the click path, we're measuring the footpaths, where are people moving? And then uh, we're able to orchestrate experiences where they get a personalized experience, either from uh, shop assistants who know who they are and have a sense of what they're doing, or just digital signs that, for instance, uh, may present a, a perfume promotion or advertisement to uh, a woman that's walking past an aftershave to a man and all of that should be fairly transparent but hopefully it makes the experience more more relevant so for individuals Bluetooth smart is enabling what a lot of people are describing as a digital sixth sense and what that means is uh, being able to use mobile technology as a way of understanding more about the world around us whether it's indoor navigation, finding the right gate of the airport, being told if you're in the wrong place when you think you're in the right place, tracking where your bags are, um, through to understanding information uh, about the objects around you, uh, whether it's pictures in a, a museum uh, or a statue in a ballpark. Uh, the fact that you're standing near the picture or the statue can then cue information that can be presented in a variety of different ways on your phone, on your watch, on your Google goggles or whatever it is that's uh, going to replace that. Uh, so big difference for uh, individuals. I'm uh, sometimes asked, well, what's the connection between 
uh, Bluetooth and the Internet of Things and uh, Bluetooth beacons in particular. Well, beacons are really very simple devices that trigger things. They trigger actions that can happen. Uh, and that triggering mechanism really becomes powerful when everything is connected. So in an Internet of Things where your thermostat, your lighting, um, the digital displays are all connected together, then it's the beacons that really anchor those output devices to an input which is knowing where you are so that those experiences can be orchestrated. Bluetooth beacon technology is a wonderful tool in the palette of architects that are creating new user experiences. And those innovations uh, range across a broad set of different use cases. Some of the things that have really caught my eye uh, are those that improve the individual's experience, whether it's when they're shopping or when they're eating out. And I've seen how wonderful those experiences can be, whether it's the triggering of a personal greeting from a barista in a coffee bar who now knows who you are, will give you your drink uh, without you having to take your wallet out or even tap your phone on a point of sale device. Uh, it's almost like you're one of their best customers, even though you're one of many customers. Uh, you're getting the personal experience that is reminiscent of times gone past. And uh, the fact that you can focus on your conversation and your coffee and not on having to pull out a, a phone to pay for something, that that can be orchestrated by a, a proximity trigger to a cloud-based wallet is very, very exciting. Other things that are maybe less personal is around uh, unattended retailing, uh, whether it be at gas pumps where I've seen uh, people developing theme songs that play as people approach a gas pump. So your song can start when you get out of the car. Uh, or as you approach a coffee machine, rather than having to tap away at eight buttons to describe the kind of coffee you want, you can just approach it coffee machine recognizes you and so you can just press the button that says I'll have my usual. And then lastly the other thing that is really awe-inspiring is what's happening in the world of analytics. And there's a lot that's been happening with big data and very sophisticated visualization techniques that just gets better when you can more exactly identify who is walking around where and, and so we're able to develop these amazing funnels where advertisers can measure uh, how the impact of a coupon, an offer, or an advertisement is actually affecting someone's movements around a store uh, and then their ultimate purchases. And these experiences get visualized in really cool heat maps that can show the path of different kinds of people that we can now understand because their progress through the store is tied back to a, a, their own profile. And so there's a whole set of possibilities that we're just scratching the surface on.